welcome back. Wilting is the process of leaving a crop on the open to dry after being cut to be collected and used as a silage. Samuel enlightens why wilting of fodder crop is important especially for the Desmodian crop. Wilting is a process by where when you cut your fodder, you leave it under the sun for like two hours to four hours. By that, because there's no direct connection with the roots, much of the water is now evaporated to the, to the air and then now you're left with more dry feet. For instance, it's like you eating ugali plus soup plus water. And another person is eating ugali plus kumawiki which is not, does not have a lot of soup. So the two, of the, uh, the two people will have eaten ugali, yes, but one will feel more full than the other. If you look at this context, it has a lot of water. So the only dry matter content I have here is about 20%. That is not enough for the animal to, let's say, to acquire enough feed. What we can do is just wilt. Now, when you spread it here, you only need like two hours. It will have wilted to this level, to this stage. There's much difference. If you look at these two folders, they are different. This one has a lot of nutrients and food, less water. This one has a lot of water, less food. That's now the difference of wilting and feeding with fish. You can dry it for over six hours. The leaves will start now dropping and you will lose every, every nutrition. You know, the leaf is the most nutritious part of this plant. But now when you let the leaves drop down, the soil benefit more from the proteins that are in these leaves, which will be turned into nitrogen. Harvest just what is needed and spread it in the sun for a few hours to wilt. Chop and mix thoroughly with other forages such as maize stovers or napier grass, then feed to the animals. 3 to 6 kilograms of green desmodium is equivalent to 1 or 2 kilograms of the commercial concentrate. Excess desmodium may be cut, dried and baled into hay and used as a protein supplement. It can also be mixed with grass when making hay. For this green fodder, that is a uh, wet fodder, a cow can feed up to 70 kgs per day. When you're using this wilted dry fodder, a cow can only feed 20 kgs. The reason is, I wonder how a cow can hold a 70 kg bag in its small room. That means the cow will feed, feed, feed. It will have no time to utilize the fodder into milk. But when you're feeding this dry fodder, you just need about 20 kgs, which is a, a, um, which is best for the cow and it is stress-free. When you feed wet fodder, constipation is on high, especially for calves and for those high producers because their conversion rate is a bit. Samuel, a fodder expert, tells us about the cassava as a fodder crop. He says cassava has been established as a fodder tree for animals but gives limitations to which part of the cassava should be fed to the animals. Cassava is a well-known crop around Kenya but its fodder has not been fully utilized. When there are varieties of cassava, the edible cassava are the ones that we use for fodder. The other cassava that you use for shade is not fit for human or animal feeding. The leaves of cassava has a, are rich in uh, vitamins and proteins. The proteins of cassava leaves is about 16 to 18 <clears> percent. <throat> How do I utilize cassava leaves into fodder? When I'm making my silage, I can opt to mix the cassava leaves with the, 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 the napier silage or the maize silage. That will boost the protein levels into that. Number two, you don't see, use the seeds of 
cassava. When you are using cassava, you need a reshooting mm -hmm. crop like this with no seeds. Seeds are not best for animals. So you better use the leaves and it's cassava. For those who are doing goats, these are very good for duck, for dairy goats. It will substitute the protein. So cassava can also be used as fodder for the tree. Caliandra calodaisas is one of the useful fodder shrubs you can grow in your farm. It is a thornless leguminous fodder shrub that originated from Central America. It is an important tree species that can be used as a substitute for commercial dairy meal. It is easy to grow and manage, grows fast, tolerant to acidic soil and helps fix nitrogen in the soil. Farmers cut its branches repeatedly to feed to dairy cows and goats and these grow back very quickly. This is uh, the Cariandra tree. It's, um, it's rich in protein and minerals. You only feed less cages, like 2 cages to 4 cages a day per head. But now you have to know when to cut and when not to cut. You see, at this stage, the nutrition value lowers because the concentration has now come to the flowering of, of the plant. But at this stage, the nutrition value is quite high. At this time, we can have a protein of between 15 to 25. But at this stage, we have below 15 crude protein. That tells you the younger the leaf, the branches, the nutritious, the plant. Yeah, so this one can be done as a fence, at the same time as a fodder. You can do it for wind breaking, at the same time as a fodder. I see goats <coughs> eat it most of the time. Uh, yes. How effective is it to get from? To a goat from? Uh, this one. Uh, goat are always their browsers, so they will merit a lot from this in terms of protein and energy and minerals. At the same time, um, farmers believe it is one of the catalysts of twins or triplets. Okay, Kiswahili, your catalysts really okay. I have some of them like Kiswahili. Farmers, when you are now, I mean, you come back, keep your own mare, but I am. Wao unachangia sana kwa kuuza mapacha wa mapacha wawili au watatu. Na kwa hivyo ni watu wa wa wambuzi wanaenzi sana huu mmea kwa kulisha mbuzi wao wa kazini. Na pia wanaamini kwamba ukipewa huu mmea ambapo ni ukweli unaongezea kiwango cha maziwa kutoka lita moja hadi lita mbili kwa siku. Apart from feeding dairy animals, Kaliandra is useful in improving the soil nutrient levels and is useful for the reforestation of bare areas that are prone to soil erosion. Caliandra wood is also good for fuel as it grows quickly, burns well and can be used to produce charcoal. The poles can also be used in supporting climbing beans. In addition, the leaves can be used for mulching and as green manure for other crops since it adds nitrogen to the soil. Its flowers provide nectar for bees and the honey produced is said to be of good quality. <laughs> 